Hi, welcome to Time Drops. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to set up and use our swim timing system with Meet Maestro from Swimtopia. To use Meet Maestro with a timing system, you need a PC with Windows 10 or higher. You will need to download and install the Meet Maestro desktop application from the Swimtopia website. Likewise, you need to install the TimeDrops MM Link application from the Microsoft Store. Just open the Microsoft Store and search for TimeDrops MM Link, then install the app. On my computer, the Meet Maestro and the MM Link applications are already installed. To better show the integration, I will project my tablet screen into this video so you can see both at the same time. I will now start Meet Maestro. I have made a shortcut to the app in the start menu so I can access it more easily. Next, I will select my seated meet and load it. Once the meet is loaded, the next step is to set up the timing interface. I click the setup button, which brings up the setup screen. Click timing setup, then add configuration. I select the time drops option. The default directory is C backslash time drops, but I can choose any directory. Meet Maestro will show an error that it cannot detect the timing system. This will go away once the MM Link app is started and the connection has been initialized. Next, I start the MM Link application, which creates the connection between Meet Maestro and the Time Drops tablet controller. In MM Link, I choose the same folder C backslash Time Drops for the data exchange. Now I can check for the config file and the error will go away. Now I click Write Configuration File. After a few seconds, MM Link will send the program to the tablet. This next step is very important. For each new session, Time Drops will generate a new session number. This number is shown on the tablet and also in MM Link. I need to select the same session number so that Meet Maestro can load the correct results. I click Change Session Number, then check for results or new files. Then select the matching data set. I may also have to adjust the number of buttons in use to match the selection in Time Drops. Don't forget to click Save. Sometimes you have to scroll down on the page to reveal the save button. I can now close the settings screen. Now I am ready to start my meet. I start the first heat. Note that the load times button is grayed out. I will finish the race early. I will push the timer buttons one by one. As soon as all lanes have finished, Meet Maestro will enable the Load Times button. I click the button to load the times. The Time Drops console has already changed to the next heat and is ready to start. I can now repeat the process. Start the race. Go to the next heat in Maestro. Finish the race. Note that I finish a lane that is marked No Swimmer. Load the times. Observe that Maestro imports the time for the empty lane, but shows a warning. You can add the missing entry for that time if desired. I can run the next heat in parallel. then load the times. If at any point, there is a change to the meet such as a scratch or a lane change, I can make this change in Meet Maestro. For example, moving a swimmer to a different lane. To update the program in Time Drops, I click the gear icon next to the Time Drops logo in the timing system bar. Then press Write Configuration File. The tablet will update almost instantly. I can update the program at any time, even while a race is in progress. And one final hint. If for any reason, the event and heat numbers do not match up correctly, for example if the tablet operator makes a mistake, 
I can load the results from a different race number into any heat by using the drop-down menu next to the load times button. And that is all. Thanks for watching.